What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. Should I do it this way? It's been a while since I've rocked a backwards hat in the car. Anyway, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of just uh, internal thinking, focusing on my life, things I want to get done, things I need to do, play, you know, things that I just want to achieve. Uh, and I had put a video, wow, probably a couple years back, uh, at least two years back or so, where I had talked about you know, society kind of puts a standard on like, you can succeed, but we only want you to succeed this far because then if you go any further than that, it like makes people uncomfortable. Um, and in some of my previous videos, I mentioned a lot, or I talked about uh, probably earlier on when my channel first came, you know, first created my channel. I always talked about how I put limitations on myself. I always told myself I couldn't do things all the time. Um, I couldn't, you know, get an A. I couldn't be better at a sport. I couldn't you know, um, just achieve whatever it is that was in front of me because I, for some reason, kept setting this limitation on myself that I was only capable of so much. Um, and I, and I for a long time, uh, I was shortchanging myself in a lot of areas. And, you know, I, I have moved forward since then, but I have noticed some bad habits kind of spring back up lately where with my training, um, and just some things that I, I do in, in my personal life, my work, um, clients, things like that. I'm like, I'm handcuffing myself. I'm like moving forward, but only by an inch. It's like I'm afraid to take, you know, take the plunge. Um, I don't know why I have this hesitation when every time I've, I've kind of like gone for it, I've actually ended up surprising myself in a lot of ways and, and succeeding what my expectations were. Um, and I, that's how I kind of, with bodybuilding, kind of made me realize that I was capable of so much more um, you know, when people say, you know, you're only capable of so much naturally, you can only be so strong, all those type of things, you know, I, I always kind of said, well, my knees were bad, and, you know, I'm older, and all this kind of stuff, and I always used to make all these excuses, and then when I took the excuses away, I ended up doing very well, as we all saw, uh, I got my pro card, I did very well in a, in a small pro show, um, all those kind of things, but, you know, I'm looking at some of the things that I'm doing currently, and I'm once again falling into the the, uh, the motor patterns and the thought processes of defeating myself, saying, well, I, I can, but what if I fail? I could do this, but that's a lot of work. And, you know, I was actually watching uh, a video uh, that Mark Lobliner, Sean Thorbody, and um, uh, Doug Miller put up recently about intensity. And I actually sent uh, a, a personal email to Mark Lobliner about you know like what that video meant to me and i wasn't you know, like listen i'm not trying to kiss anybody's ass i don't you know that's not who i am i respect people because i respect them i don't look for anything in return so i wrote mark a, an email and basically what that video did was just kind of help me be, get that self-realization again that that um internal perspective where i was like wow you know i'm slacking i have more to give and i'm not giving it i have more things to achieve and I'm kind of like slowing myself down for whatever reason out of fear more than anything uh, or over analysis um, and I'm not just talking about in the gym I'm talking about my entire life this is a recurring theme that I tend to have the intelligence and the capacity to do more and I either don't do it at all out of fear or I only kind of like stick my big toe in and, and, and test the water out to see if I'm really going to do it or not so there are some things I need to do coming up like that's why I kind of I've come back to YouTube. Um, I've kind of set some certain standards for myself for accountability and things I want to get done, uh, both in the gym and just in life in general. And it actually re that video actually remotivated me. I, I must say that over the past couple workouts, it's the best workouts I've had in a long time. The intensity is back. That fire that I've been missing for a very long time um, has been much more consistent over the past week, and I'm going to do everything I can to like maintain that mentality. Um, so I'll give you an example, um, and this is just a gym related one, not life one. I'll give you the life one in a second, but I, I did, um, I've been having a major problem and I don't know why. I can pull like 470 for like seven reps or something like that, right? But I go to 405 and I can't get 10. Don't know why, it's like a mental block that I have. So today it was something in the gym, I have it scheduled in my programming to do 405 for AMRAPs, three sets. So I finally broke that barrier of 10, I was able to do a set of 14, a set of 10 and a set of 10. So I wasn't even able to do one set of 10, but now I was able to do one over and two that hit the exact number. Um, it, because I just focused on 
stop thinking about you're not going to make it and just hit the damn number um, and just push until you can't push anymore. So that's what I did today, which was a good uh, mental break. Also, I had started pursuing my MBA several years back and do the work switch and, and location. I kind of put it on hiatus. Uh, I'm now going to be resuming very shortly my MBA once the next semester starts. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to complete for the longest time. Now's going to be the time to do it. Um, and yes, I have a kid on the way and it's just, it's going to be what it's going to be. I have to work, I have to get my MBA and I got to take care of my kid, my wife and all the other things that are going to be going on. Um, and, and that's just what it is. Um, guys and girls who watch this, you know, I know a lot of you constantly put self limits on um, because society basically encourages us to be mediocre. It does. Think about every great player, whether you like them or not. So if you take Kobe Bryant, I'm not a fan of Kobe Bryant, but he's a great player, right? I think he's an asshole of a human being, but great player. Put in the time in the gym. Um, anything he does, good or bad, is going to get criticized. Le LeBron James, great player. Don't necessarily agree with all the choices he makes when he you know, says certain things. I have great respect for LeBron and Kobe, great players. But watch how they, if they don't, you know, they can sink 40 every night. One game they have 28 and their team loses or something, and they'll get criticized how they didn't do enough. It's always like those who strive to be more, those who strive to be greater than the game or the, or the pursuit or try to be the masters of their craft, you know, whether it's in uh, bodybuilding, um, which you constantly get, oh, well, it's because they're on drugs. Okay, let's get something straight right now. If any of you trained and did what Kai do, Phil, like trained and just took drugs, you're not going to look like Kai, you're not going to look like Phil Heath, you're not going to look like Dennis Wolf, Sean Rowan, Dexter Jackson, or anybody else, okay? That, even though they're on drugs and they're taking performance enhancing drugs, that is a work ethic and an intensity that not a lot of you have the ability to match, okay? Plain and simple, you don't have it. There are naturals out there, whether you want to admit it or not, and you can say the half natty bullshit all you want, okay? You can call Doug Miller half natty, drug Miller, you can call him any name you want. I dare any one of you to pay for a training session with him and go at the intensity that guy goes at. Or meet Mark Lobliner at one of his uh, meet and greets or something and go at the intensity that guy goes at. I've been in the gym with Mark. The guy is an animal. I've, I've been, I've seen videos of Doug. I unfortunately, I almost got to work out with him in the arm, but the timing just didn't work out. The guy is a monster in terms of his training capacity and just the intensity that he works out with, okay? Even in life, like, stop worrying about what everybody's gonna say and what everybody's gonna think about you and do what's important to you. Now, I'm not necessarily mean you have to step on everybody and belittle them and be an asshole. Some people are gonna call you an asshole even if you do everything right. But focus on what the goal is ahead and just go after it with some, for some veracity and some intent. That's the whole idea. So when I get the, you know, the comments on my, my Instagram, like, oh, this, this was a good one. Anybody who has hashtags IIFYM can't be serious, uh, can't be natty. And immediately went to the drug accusation and drew a needle in my, you know, like in the, in the, uh, whatever they call those emojis in, in my comment section. Okay, well, if any of you worked as hard as I did and trained as hard as I did, you'd get results. That, that's the reality of it. So stop handicapping yourself constantly. And I'm going to make a promise to myself that I'm going to stop doing that and try to get out of the negative mental patterns that I tend to get myself into. Um, you know, being tired is not an excuse. Being, you know, having a job is not an excuse. If someone like Mark can have a family, three kids, and own several companies and make it work, and Doug can travel across seas and have a family and a kid and make it work, then so can you and so can everybody else. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.